gonna give you a little tip if you've got a lot of conflict in your mixed faith marriage. This is the tip. I want you to think about this really seriously. But the tip is you don't always need to tell your side of the story. Let me repeat. You don't always need to tell your side of the story. Sometimes when there's conflict, disagreement, conflict, whatever may be happening, the best thing to do is to give your spouse all the space, all the time, all the listening that they need and to not tell your own side of the story. Now you may be like, Brooke, what? This doesn't make any sense. Then won't it be lopsided? Won't I be a doormat? Won't, won't my side not be taken care of? I don't say never tell your side of the story, but sometimes in certain conversations, in certain instances, you don't need to take that time. You don't need to take your turn. Sometimes just focusing on them and what they're experiencing in their hurt and their pain is all that needs to be done in that certain conversation in that pocket of time. Every single conversation and interaction and discussion doesn't need to be an equal 50-50 of you get 50% of the time to say your spiel and I get 50% of the time to say my spiel. Sometimes that's where things feel like a, like a little bit polarized or a winner or a loser or where you have to um, like make it too formulaic. Sometimes the most loving thing we do for our spouse is to give them the full stage and let their experience be what is being discussed and talked about in its entirety. And that our side of the story, our experience, while it, I'm not discounting it, I'm not saying it's important, just doesn't need to be center stage at that time. That there can be other conversations, other opportunities where that is discussed and shared but it doesn't have to be right now. The reason I suggest this is because it can be a beautiful gift you give to your spouse to fully explore and understand and go into what their experience is without your experience being a distraction or a dilution from what they're experiencing. And you can have your experience later, but it can be a really beautiful thing to focus solely on one person at a time in their experience to help them feel loved, seen, understood, important, and validated.